Okay, so what I want to go over right now is how to set up VLC player for Zoom. There are many programs that you can use to play videos on uh, Zoom, uh, but most of them show controls, including VLC. So let's just have a look at uh, how it looks when we do a share screen using VLC video player. So there's the video player. I'm using one of my uh, other videos for from the kitchen, how to cook without sugar. Anyway, that's not the important thing. And the important thing is that we have the controls here. Now, if you have a more recent version of uh, VLC, these controls will actually be bigger than what you see here. This is an old one, and I'll explain why I'm using an old one in a moment. Now, to get rid of these, you can use the full screen feature. The problem with using full screen is that you have any time that this shows up, it blocks out part of the screen for your viewers on Zoom. That is not a good thing. So what we want to do is we want to be able to separate the video window from the controls. And I will show you how to do that and it only works this way. It'll work on any version of VLC, but it only works this way in the older versions. So let's uh, go to that. We'll get out of Zoom for now. And we'll get out of full here. So we have VLC here. What you need to do is go to Tools, go to Preferences. Go here, one thing, the first thing you want to do is, you will see that there is Integrate Video with Interface. Get rid of that, okay. Click on Save. Then you need to go back into it again because if you don't do it this way it will lose part of the things you've changed. Let's change a few other things that we don't like in the VOC video player. So we're going to go down to subtitles OST. We're going to start there and we're going to where it says here um, enable on-screen display right here. So we're going to take that off. That's the first thing we're going to change. Now we're going to go to the playlist section. We click on the playlist section and we're going to click on play and stop. This is good for when we're doing Zoom meetings. We don't want it to play our whole uh, playlist. We just want to play what we're uh, presenting. And we're going to take off Auto Start. The reason we take off Auto Start is that it allows us to queue up the video before we put it on screen and then we can start it playing when we want it to play, not as soon as we choose the video. So that's an important one for Zoom. And we want only, allow only one running instance. Why that's important is because you may have it open and then you forget and you double click again a video in your uh, document explorer and now you've got two of them open or three depending on how often you've done that. Okay, so the next thing is to go to the video section down here and we want full screen video output. Now this will vary uh, depending on uh, how you're going to do this. For Zoom, actually it might be better to leave it off and I'll show you why. If you start playing and it goes full screen right away, then you have the problem that we saw earlier. Show media title, we don't need that. So we're going to take off show media title, which is right here. Under video, under video you will see also see Output Modules. Under Output Modules, you're going to select uh, Direct X, which is right here. And then we're going to format that by clicking Direct X under the menu here. And we want to uncheck Hardware Acceleration. And then after that, if you have several monitors, if you have a remote monitor, you can Click that, 
or display or whatever. So that should give you what you need for this part. Now, the last thing that we want to check is go to QT subscreen. And you find QT subscreen under interlace and main interfaces in QT. And what we want to get rid of here is allow automatic icon changes. Why? Well, not everybody celebrates Christmas and Halloween and all the rest of it. And those all icons come up and show when the media player is not playing, not uh, doesn't have a video on it. So that just gets rid of that and just keeps a generic icon there. Once you're done all of these changes, don't forget to click on save. For these changes to take effect, you need to close. And then this is what's going to happen when you open it again. Now you notice that it did not start playing automatically, which is good. When we do start playing, it's going to play in a separate window. So you can set it up so that your controls are not overlapping with the screen. You can play it on zoom. Set this up ahead of time. I'll put this on pause because otherwise he's going to compete with me. <laughs> Now, the only irritating part is this little bar at the top here, which is not a big thing. It's much better than having all these controls on your screen. And the option, the other option is to go to a more recent version, 3.08 or more recent, like 3.011, uh, which is the most uh, current one. But the problem with that is that you cannot resize the screen. You cannot reposition it. It sits in the top left-hand corner over here and every time that somebody comes in your meeting or something happens, it covers that part of the uh, of your video. So until VLC gives us back this control, you have to use an older version of uh, VLC video player. So I hope this helps somebody. If it does, let us know. Leave a comment below. And if you have any suggestions or if you happen to remark that VLC has fixed this problem, please let me know. Hi. If you enjoyed what you uh, saw in that video, then please click the subscribe button um, over here. Yeah, that one. Click the subscribe button, please. And whenever I put a video up, you will find out about it.